Texas is a state firmly gripped by the addiction epidemic. The Lone Star State saw an 80% increase in drug-related overdoses from 1999 to 2014. With people getting rich in the private treatment sector, the exclusivity of access and the debate around its effectiveness simmering, I was interested to see another model for the rehab industry. One entrepreneur in recovery is using profits to reinvest into his community, creating a continuum of care and opportunities beyond addiction. My name is Michael Dadashi and I'm a person in long-term recovery. From day one, my using was a serious problem. Being such a rock bottom addict for so many years and not being able to keep a job and not being able to really be a productive member of society has really been a huge catalyst for me creating companies. You know, I created them out of the necessity to just create a paycheck for myself. I wanted to create this community center and I wanted to create this continuum of care with infant recovery to build authentic connections where people can pour their hearts out, people can feel safe, that they're not gonna be judged, they can get vulnerable and really connect to their higher power and to their fellow human beings. Infinite Recovery started as a sober home. You know, I really felt the need and I followed my heart and my inspiration to create a sober home that was special to Austin. And as that started to gain traction and really gain a lot of uh, buzz and success in Austin, I opened up a second home, which was the women's home and then a third home. And as the community center continue to flourish and attract more people. It was kind of like a, like a honeycomb and all the honeybees were, were flocking to the community center. I saw the need to also create something special within the recovery industry where people could really connect and have a safe place to come have coffee, hear a speaker, play a guitar, get together for ping pong and really just have this you know, synergy that, um, that recovery creates. This area has been known for a lot of, you know, not so good things, right? Drug dealing, poverty, et cetera, et cetera. My experience with, with putting the community center in this area has been amazing. You know, it spawned other recovery and related um, businesses. We're kind of creating this whole recovery row over here and I really feel like the energy that we're putting off is really vibrating through the community. And I can see people peeking in the windows and they want to know what's going on. So I believe that employment is a huge part of recovery. I feel like people need a sense of purpose and I feel like people need to have a sense of some type of giving back and paying it forward. A lot of the people that have gone through the program and that, and that also are active members in the community center, as they start to get back on their feet, I offer them employment opportunities and infinite recovery for them to take it one step further and give back on a much larger scale. There's been a lot of criticism around the rehab industry in the past couple months and in the past year. And I just want to speak personally that I know a lot of people doing good work in this industry and you really can't judge a whole industry based on a couple of headlines. My mantra has always been that profits chase purpose. You know, I went and used the profits that I was making for my sober home and poured them into this community center. And the result has really just been amazing and, and magical. So I really believe in that model of using a for-profit business to then create something great for the community and really use it as a vehicle to drive all this community service and this community action. My name is Casey Davis and I am a person in long-term recovery. What we're trying to do here is create six, nine, 12 months of programming. It's not just about, you know, being assessed and getting a treatment plan and then hope you do well. It's about trying to create a community that they want to stick around. There's a lot of places that you can go and sit in a drab group room and have someone to tell you about how you shouldn't drink and use anymore, but that's different than walking into a place that's alive, into a place that is artistic and cultured and interesting and fun that says there might be something here for me. In a perfect world, I would hope that one of these community centers would be in every city. You know, that people would have a place where they felt safe to be authentic, to recover out loud. 
you know, to pour their hearts out for recovery. That would be my dream. And I just really believe that if we all come together and share our stories and inspire the people that are still suffering and inspire the people that are involved in this movement, I feel like we can accomplish this together.